I'm gonna try to play Skyrim, except I literally have to move to play. I have to walk in place to move forward, and I have to use the motion controls and my knockoff Joy-Cons to look around. My goal here is to beat the first dungeon of Skyrim on the highest difficulty, Legendary, using my full body motion control setup. This challenge was entirely inspired by Dug Dug, except I'm using my feet instead of my mouth. Okay, this isn't working. Back, left, oh, we got one! I don't know... I don't know how to do this. Now, I've never actually really played Skyrim past getting to Riverwood, that first town that you get to, and then kind of just messing around with cheats. So this is not only a blind playthrough, this is my first playthrough. A walkthrough, if you will. I'm gonna officially do it now. We're gonna go to, uh, really hard. Master Legendary. Yep, this is a good idea. As soon as I fought my first enemy, I knew this was going to be difficult because I died so fast. Ah, you didn't see it coming. You didn't see it coming, did you? That's right. That's right. Oh, shoot. No, what? He. What the? Oh my goodness. But just getting through Helgen Keep, this first area, was pretty easy once I figured out that Rayloff pretty much takes care of everything, and I could kinda just stand back. But how was this gonna work once I got to the first dungeon, and I didn't have Rayloff with me anymore? You- I think you got it. I think you- you got it. Okay. There, now I can help. Look at that, look at that, check this out. Finishing move. Bro, we are such a good team. Oh no, lock picking like this is gonna be miserable. I have to like walk to turn it up, to, to, to twist it. There we go. <laughs> That's so stupid. Once I got to Riverwood, I providentially met someone in chat that would change the course of this challenge. Oh yeah, I was live streaming this, so be sure to follow me on here or Twitch if you want to see me do this kind of thing live. Waka, the GOAT in chat. Let me know that the only way I could reasonably do this was to get a follower, and some sort of conjuring helper. No, who are you? So Waka, in chat, told me that in legendary mode, the enemies are way stronger than me but NPCs fighting other NPCs are still pretty equal to each other, so I needed someone else to fight for me, just like in Helen Keep. There's actually a build that makes Legendary Mode easier than Stealth Archer and requires zero exploits. Minion build! Skyrim's difficulty slider doesn't actually scale HPs, just the damage percentage between you and NPCs, but not NPCs versus NPCs, so while you only do 30% of your max HP against them, your minions followers are still doing 100%. Oh, can I do some of that stuff right here? Like, I, I don't I don't want to have to start over. Can you walk me through this? Can you walk me through this? Yeah, I just get Flynn or whatever the elf in town. Oh, okay. Flashback. No, who are you? End of flashback. So, I met my buddy Fandel, who said he would follow me after helping him with some relational disputes. Hashtag Team Fandel. So, where is this elf guy? Is it this guy right here? Feindal? A few minutes later. Follow me, I need your help. Lead the way. Yes! And then my buddy Waka told me that I needed to buy a spell book in town which would help me raise fallen enemies as zombies that would fight for me. And you can buy a conjuration book at the local shop if you ask if he has any spells. Oh! Unfortunately for me, I didn't loot very much in Helgen Keep, and I was told that I couldn't really go back there, so I didn't really have much money. But I was told that I could chop wood and sell it. While I was chopping wood, I was working out on my exercise rings, which is an excellent way to pass time on things that don't require inputs in games. What if I do one block, or one pull up for every, every, uh, chop? There we go. And I'll just hang. This is a new challenge.
and then I was over encumbered and had to walk super slowly to get to an inn and sleep until morning to sell my wood. So ridiculous. What Waka didn't tell me until morning was that I could have just dropped off my wood and walked at normal speed. You could just drop the logs so you're not walking. Okay, I mean, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I could just drop them. Then I finally sold my wood and bought the spell. So after this I made my way up the mountain toward the dungeon and got to test out the raised zombie spell on this wolf. Fun fact, wood elves are the scariest race in Elder Scrolls ro lo lore. I just always pick the the, the wood elves because I'm short and they're generally short. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Okay, is this a time when I can do my, my, um, <laughs> this is a great pause screen. <laughs> Hi, doggy! How you doing today? You having a good day, doggy? <laughs> can I, um, can I make this dog on, <laughs> can I command him now? Yes! Let's go! <laughs> oh, no! Wait! Huh? Why are you... Why was he attacking? Huh? You okay? Why was he attacking Feindal? I mean, at least he stopped attacking me. What just happened? Now I had to encounter my first real enemies, which was tricky. Okay. Oh! <sighs> I learned that essentially I'm super weak and that Feindl and the occasional zombie will have to fight for me. This will be a recurring theme in this challenge. There we go! That's my zombie. That's my zombie. Let's go! Eventually I finally made it to the dungeon after way too long. I've already been at this for how long? It's already been two and a half hours. <laughs> oh dear. But I figured if I could make it to the dungeon, surely the dungeon itself wouldn't be too difficult, right? Okay, there's a lot of people over there. Um... First of all, the zombies are really stupid, and sometimes forget to pick up their own weapons that they died holding, so I had to keep giving weapons back to the bodies before raising them back from the dead. Secondly, I'm literally doing like maybe 5% of the damage here. Thirdly, Fandle is the goat, and so is Waka in chat, I guess. No, I'm joking, he, he was actually super helpful. I realized that I'm pretty dumb and had a really hard time with these puzzles. This totally won't hurt me, right? Ow! I think my favorite part of this dungeon are all of the traps that I could use to kill enemies for me. That was that was pretty great, honestly. This looks like a trap. Should I go here, guys? Oh! Oh! <laughs> I think I found the button to set off the trap. <laughs> that really scared me. Okay, is that the button? Can I just not step on it? Yeah, I could- Oh! Oh, you just you just don't die? No, you're gonna do it again. Don't do that. Stop. Come over here and don't die. No, don't step on it again. Uh. Shoot him. No, no. <laughs> uh. Oh, I can step on it when they're over there. Oh. I didn't know it would hit me from that side. <laughs> why? Why are there so many? 
<laughs> you can't, yeah, you got hit. <laughs> Get wrecked. Let's go. Come on. Bring it on, punk. Let's go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Goodbye. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, we did it! Yay! I finally felt like I was making progress after fighting so many, I mean, letting Fandle fight all of these Draugr for me. And then the stupid, annoying axe hallways, they can go die. I can't see anything! Just go! Just go! Just go! Just go! Close my eyes! Oh, I made it! Yes! <laughs> I made it! Oh, that worked. Just as planned. All right, Fandal, get him. Don't let him get to me, you jerk. <laughs> oh no. Maybe if I stay over here, he'll just he'll just kill him before he gets to me. Activate chain? What does this do? It turns him off? What? He, he already killed him. <sighs> I learned these things, and then this doesn't even matter. This particular section was really annoying because Fandel kept dying on the axes, but there were a few enemies on the other side of the axes, so as soon as I would run through, he would follow me and then get hurt and then not be able to help me fight these guys, and then I would die trying to save him. Faith, Faith, where, why are you dead again? I was getting really tired of Feindel, and eventually I was able to defeat them all, except then Feindel died in the axe hallway. So am I on my own now? At this point, Waka told me that I was three quarters of the way through the dungeon, but I had lost Fainful. So do I keep going and just try to survive? I did do that for like five minutes, and then I realized I'm nothing without Fainful, and that Fainful is my greatest ally and fiercest companion, and that I love him like a friend, like a like a really good friend, uh, like a really strong friend. Oh dear, I'm so scared. I don't have my buddy with me anymore. So I went back to an earlier save. Guys, it's scary now. I don't have my friend with me anymore. Should I go back and try to not die with him? Although he was actually a terrible friend because the only way that I could save him and kill the Draugrs was to go back far enough and tell him to not follow me and then run through the axe hallways, get their attention, make it back through the axe hallways without dying and hoping that the axes would kill them. Wait here. I gotta get the timing right. Okay, that was not it. That was not it. Okay, so we're just gonna aggro all of them right now, which I think they're all down here somewhere. Okay, they are aggroed. They are aggroed, they are coming toward me, and I gotta go back. And they are coming. No, I told you to wait! I told you to wait! Why did you do that, you stupid... I told you to wait! Please don't die. You made it through. You jerk. You weren't supposed to make it through. <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? You little jerk. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you and say, tell you to follow me. Okay, we're gonna you're gonna follow me back here. Okay, where you're not gonna die because I'm gonna take care of these guys by myself because I don't need you right now. I don't think. Okay, wait here. Come on, dude. <laughs> come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Yes! Let's freaking go! Okay. Okay, and there's another one. Come on. Come in here. Come on in. Yes! Let's go! Then I let Fandle be my friend again and follow me, and somehow he didn't die going through the hallway this time. Hey, look, you jerk, you can come now. I'm gonna do another save. Now that I got Findle following me. Like the good pal that he is. Please don't die, please don't die. Oh, yes, he made it! Sick! 
eventually, we made our way to the Sanctum Sanctorum or whatever uh, the end room is called, and I touched the glowy wall thingy, and I summoned the big, bad Draugr guy. And, like the brave man that I am, I let my friend almost kill him, and I finished him off and saved the day. <gasps> oh, oh, no! No! He died? What? Yes, let's go. <laughs> let's go find all. <sighs> okay, we did it. So, in total, starting Skyrim and beating the first dungeon on Legendary took me about 7,200 steps over a span of four hours. Was this an optimal way to exercise or play games? No, not at all. But it was kind of fun. But mostly because of Fandil, because he's the best. In all honesty, this was actually a really fun way to play the game, and if you like this sort of thing, be sure to like and subscribe, it really helps me out. Let me know what other challenges I should try. Thanks for watching. Woohoo! We've done it! All that four hours of work for 400 gold! <laughs> I could've just chopped wood for that.